Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to take a look at solving a radical equation. So this is basically an equation with a radical sign in it. So think a square root, a third root, fourth root, something like that. Now the process for doing this is first we want to isolate that radical to one side of the equal sign. Then we'll use powers to see if we can get rid of it. This will actually transform our equation into something much nicer to solve. Now we'll go ahead and we'll solve that equation and see what solutions we get. And in our last step, we'll check those solutions to make sure that they work in the original. Alright, so let's see these uh, steps in action and see how it's going to help us solve my example here. So I have a minus x plus the square root of x minus 4 plus 6 equals 0. So I need to isolate that radical. Start off, I'm going to add x to both sides and I need to subtract a 6 from both sides. This will give me the square root of x minus 4 is equal to x minus 6. Alright, now that we have this guy isolated, we need to get rid of it by using some powers. Since it is a square root, I'm going to square both sides. So I'm going to use the power of 2. Alright, so on the left side this will get rid of our square root. And now I have something a little bit better that I can solve. Now, be careful with the right side. When you square something that has two terms, you actually need to foil that out. All right, let's see what that gives us. So x times x, x squared, let's see, a minus 6x for the outside, minus 6x for the inside, plus 36. All right, looks good. So when I look at this equation, I see that I have an x squared. This means that it is now a quadratic equation. So to solve this, I'm going to move everything over on one side, get it equal to 0, and then see what I have. So I'm subtracting x from both sides, and we'll go ahead and add a 4 to both sides. So 0 is equal to x squared minus a 13x plus 40. Good. Now there's a variety of ways you can solve a quadratic equation. You could complete the square uh, quadratic formula. But one of the quickest is just to see if it factors. Because if it does factor, then we can see what our solutions are right away. Let's see. x times x will give me x squared. And then I need two numbers that multiply to be 40, but somehow add to be negative 13. I think the ones that will do this will be a negative 8 and a minus 5. Negative 8 times negative 5, positive 40. And when they add, negative 13. All right, looking good. So it looks like we have two possible solutions. x could equal 8, or x could equal 5. Now, these solutions may or may not work in our original problem. To figure out, we need to check them. So let's go ahead and start with this 8 and see how it works. So negative 8 plus the square root of 8 minus 4, add 6. So I'm checking if this really does equal 0. So negative 8 plus the square root of 8 minus 4 is 4. Let's see, negative 8 plus the square root of 4 is 2. So I have negative 8 plus 2 is a negative 6 plus 6. Oh, sure enough, 0 does equal 0. All right. So it means that we will keep this solution. It works in the original. All right. Now let's go ahead and give the other one a try. So negative 5 plus the square root of 5 minus 4 plus 6. Is it really equal 0? So negative 5 plus 5 minus 4 is 1, plus 6 equals 0. And the square root of 1 is just 1. All right, so let's see. Negative 5 plus 1 is a negative 4, plus 6, mm, not so good. 2 is not equal to 0. So what does that tell me about that solution? Well, it means I need to get rid of it. 
So the only solution that works in our original problem here is just x equals 8. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.